Michael Bruzen writes, hello, the awesome crew of Collider Movie Talk. I watch you every day before work. Not long ago, I watched Mad Max Fury Road and I liked it so much, I went back and saw the original Mad Max movies that I never got around to seeing. My question is this, have you ever watched a remake or a sequel that led you to the original one or an iconic movie that you just never watched? Um, yes, and actually this is one of the big arguments I always have with people who say, you shouldn't make remakes because it ruins the original. Remakes don't touch the original. The originals are still there in all their glory. It doesn't do anything. And if anything, this has always been one of my big arguments, is that, like say for instance, um, The Ring, the original Asian version of The Ring, right? Most people in this country had never seen it, all right? When the remake came out, more people went back to watch the original one because they found out it was based on an original that was awesome, stuff like that, than had ever seen the film before. Mm -hmm. Look at The Departed as well, based on my all-time favorite cop film, Infernal Affairs, right? Nobody in this country had ever seen Infernal Affairs. And when The Departed came out, suddenly more people in our culture went back and watched Infernal Affairs than had ever watched it before because of the remake. Now, I had already seen Infernal Affairs, but a movie like... 310 to Yuma, because I loved the new Christian Bale, Russell Crowe, uh, 310 to Yuma. I, that's how I found out there was an original 310 to Yuma, and then I went back and watched it, and I really appreciated it. Another film, I didn't, I saw the original Girl with the Dragon, Dragon Net 2 before I saw the new version, but I went and watched it because I heard there was a new version coming out. So there's another example of like, oh, hey, these new ones are actually turning people on to the originals more than had ever seen them before. So yeah, yes, for me, like 310 to Yuma was definitely one because I heard that the movie was coming out, Girl with the Dragon Net 2 was one as well. And I think you can talk to most people in that time. What about you, Schnapp? What are some uh, like uh, reboots or remakes that actually turned you on to the original? Um, a lot, uh, it's hard to really think too, because I usually, I, I'm a big foreign film fan. So I've, I've yeah. seen some, I've seen Let the Right One In I've, before they did the remake. So more recently, not that many, but, uh, I was trying to think of a few, um, and I can't. Let the Right One In is another good one that there's a lot of people I've talked to who had, who had never seen it, but because there was a remake version that got turned on to it, went back and watched it for the first yeah, time. Yeah, and I think it's it's always good. Like, I'll mention The Raid because a lot of people who haven't seen the original Raids that's getting remade here in America, and I'm sure that will turn people on to go yes. back and see the, the actual real Raid. I, can, I remember Jackie Chan when I was in college, he, like Rumble in the Bronx and all these things right. were coming out. And that's when uh, when a lot of Hong Kong cinema was just finally making it and everyone was getting interested in all of the original Jackie Chan, you know, Donnie Yen, all the, the original guys. So that was very exciting to see that happen. What about you? For me, it was Old Boy. Now, oh, I, yeah. I didn't watch the Spike Lee joint. I was like you. I, I heard about the new one being made by Spike Lee, mm -hmm. and I said, "Okay, let me go back and watch the original." Uh, I, didn't, I haven't seen the whole trilogy yet, but I saw at least the, the old boy, the first one. Mm. I loved it. Mm -hmm. Saw so Spike Lee one, not so much. Right, but yeah. <laughs> oh, it was so bad. <laughs> not so much. That was bad. But uh, I think yeah, just hearing about films. Even I know the question also says just uh, old films you've gone back and watched. I know uh, Dennis and I were having a conversation about westerns, and he's talking. We're talking about our favorite movie openings of all time. He said one of his was uh, Once Upon a Time in the West. Mm -hmm. I'd never seen that, so I've been right now kind of on a western kick. I just watched Once Upon a Time nice. in the West, and I, I love westerns. I can't wait for, of course, Quentin Tarantino's A Hateful Eight. Uh, that should be awesome too. That is, I'm so into westerns right now. Yeah, so it's, it's always good to be inspired by old. Once movies. Upon a Time in the West is a great one. It's like I was actually in the car like two days ago, just <laughs> thinking about that one scene where he captures the fly, <laughs> <laughs> and he's just then relaxing while he knows that it's captured. Well, there's a yeah, scene. So. This guy has he shows up at the train station. He has water falling on his hat. Doesn't phase him. And after a while, time goes by. He takes his hat off and then takes a drink of water. Yeah. And he's just waiting for somebody to show up. It's just awesome. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. And who shows up? Charles, <laughs> Charles Bronson. Bronson with yeah. the harmonica. Yeah, you guys brought amazing. two too many.